It is holiday season, my friends. And if you have a tarot lover in your life, whether it's a friend or a family member, or even a tarot reader that you go to frequently and you just wanna show a little love this holiday season, have I got a gift guide for you. So I've got a bunch of gift ideas that I would like to share with you. And most of them on, are on Amazon simply because we are actually in holiday season right now. And if you have Prime, you can probably get the two day shipping or you can get some kind of fast shipping through Amazon. I think I have a couple of others on Etsy as well. And I just wanted to share the Amazon links because the shipping is gonna be fast. And they're not affiliate links because let's face it, I don't have enough subscribers to qualify for affiliate links. So these are just items that I thought were pretty cool and I wanted to share with you. First up, tarot cloths. Now I don't normally use tarot cloths at home, but if I were to go to a different venue for either a fair or a festival or a tarot reading party, it's kind of fun to have your own tarot cloth just to add to the decor and just to make everything look festive and fun. So this is one that popped up on Amazon. And what caught my attention was the fact that it said that it was a, a thick velvet fabric. And that is important because if you use a cloth that is silky or a very soft cotton, when you lay out your cards, the fabric kind of bunches up and it just gets uncomfortable and annoying to use. So I like to look for fabrics that are a little thicker. So this one is pretty cool. And this one is only $12.95. It's got the triple moon goddess design on it and also comes with a little velvet bag there. And you can store the cloth or you can throw your tarot cards in there. And it says that it will arrive before Christmas. It looks like you still have a chance as of this recording. Okay, we also have another cloth that I found. And this cloth is made out of burlap, which is a nice sturdy fabric. So again, if you don't want that bunching up, this burlap is, is a pretty cool way to go. And it's got the the pentacle with the phases of the moon and we can look at other images here you see this is 24 by 11 and you can see it laid out on a table this sample shows you what it looks like with tarot cards on top so this one's pretty cool also not not super expensive for you know something to lay it on your table 1597 and looks like the shipping is fairly quick as well and I just wanted to show you one other final example this one is a velvet cloth. Again, I thought you know that the fabric would work well and not bunch up. And this one comes in all sorts of colors. Um, that one is red, but we have black, blue, uh, royal blue, coffee. I mean, the options go on and on. And it looks, it looks really nice. And again, I haven't ordered any of these things myself, but these are certainly things that I would put on my wish list because they look pretty cool. Next on our list are candles. Now, what tarot reader does not enjoy a good candle? And you know, there might be some that don't wanna have an open flame indoors, but you also have LED options as well. So here's an example of some really beautiful candles. Um, this one's a 12 pack and those are the different designs. This is a six pack. And this one's a nine pack. There's also this one, which is similar to the others. This one's $18.99, arrives before Christmas. So there's still time if you're watching this video pretty early on. And I actually have these candles and they smell great and they're small. So they, you know, doesn't take up a whole lot of space. Um, the scent isn't overpowering and let me let me just show you what these guys look like in person so right here on the left i have these same candles that you saw in that amazon page and this is what they look like for real aren't they pretty i mean the design is just so lovely and this one in particular is coffee scented and this one right here is Mediterranean fig. 
This one, also very pretty design. This one is lavender. And we've got vanilla almond. And I'll just open this up so you can see what it looks like. Go ahead, take a whiff. Mmm, that smells good. <laughs> So these are just a really nice, fun, decorative thing to get your favorite tarot reader. And here's another set with a, with a different pattern, but also just as beautiful. And these are in black and white, and I noticed that these have more of a tarot-themed design. You can see this has the sun and the moon, and there, this one has fire which you know can represent one of the suits you know how we have fire water air and earth so this could be your fire element and this one has a palm with an eye in the middle um so you know these have some mystical designs going for them unfortunately or i don't know i wouldn't say unfortunately it depends on your taste i was going to say unfortunately you know they're only in black and white not very colorful but you know what if your tarot reader doesn't like a whole bunch of color and likes things very simple this candle set might be right up their alley and the last set of candles that i wanted to show you these are flameless so these are um, battery powered so you don't have to worry about setting your place on fire and these also have some tarot related images on them I think this first one it looks like a planchette that you would see on a Ouija board so you know maybe not specifically tarot but it's in the family and then the second one looks like a skeleton reminds me a lot of the death card I kind of see something here that looks like a chalice or the standard cups that you would find in the cup suit of a tarot deck. And this other one, this one says death on the bottom. So it, it is, it does look a lot like the death card. So these are tarot-like candles. I also went on Etsy the other day and you can find a ton of candles. If you just type tarot candles in Etsy, you'll find a bunch of them. And a lot of them have images of actual tarot cards on them. I didn't bother putting them in this gift guide simply because the shipping. Um, as of today, you're probably not going to get those in time for the holidays. But if you just wanted to take a look and browse around, definitely check out Etsy. Now, I'm going to tell you that I recently did a video that shows you how to put any image you want on a candle. So if you want to go the homemade DIY route, check out the video in the info card on the upper left. That will show you what you need to do to customize your own candles. Next up, we have cups and mugs. And I don't know a tower reader who doesn't really love their tea or really love their coffee. So a mug like this would be a great gift. And this particular mug has a picture of an eye that can, you know, remind you of either the all seeing eye or your inner eye, your third eye. Um, so that's a great image. There's moons, there's stars, and along the bottom border, you see the different phases of the moon. So this is a great, this is a great cup. Um, it says it holds 18 ounces, it's $17.99, and arrives before Christmas. The next cup we have here is a little daintier, a little fancier looking. Also has that eye design in the middle, which is really nice. And it looks like it has a, a gold rim and a gold handle. And it's funny because I was looking at the, the two-star rating... <laughs> And I was thinking, I don't know if I want to recommend this. But when I looked at the rating, the complaint was that the cup was too small. But it tells you here the capacity is 10 and a half ounces. And it clearly looks dainty and very cute. So yeah, of course it's a little small. But you know, you have to read the description. So if you're, if you're up for a little cup that holds about 10 ounces but looks really cute, there you have it for $20.59, and this one also arrives before Christmas. The third option I wanted to show you was this 20-ounce tumbler. It's got a really cool design with the stars 
and the moon, the night sky. It's, it's really cool and has that tarot feel. And what's great about a tumbler is that if you are a tower reader that goes to different venues and or doing parties where you're doing reading after reading after reading, it does get exhausting and you do get dehydrated. And if you don't have time to get up and grab a sip of water somewhere, it's really handy to have something like a tumbler with your favorite be beverage in there. So this one in particular is uh, 570 milliliters, which is equivalent to 20 ounces. There are also some other options. So this one is a 10 ounce. So that one is small. And then this is the 20 ounce we were looking at. And then there's a 32 ounce that looks more like a thermos or a water bottle. So you have options. Next up, we have jewelry. So this one is a tarot card necklace that has the moon card on it. And I think there are different image options. So let me mouse over here. Yeah, this one's the star. And it looks like it has a little diamond in the middle. Obviously, it's not a real diamond at $14.99. But it's cute. And then there's the sun. The sun is also really nice. So yeah, if you want to get a tarot card necklace, those are some cute options. And here is a set of earrings that I thought kind of had a tarot look and feel. Again, moon and the stars. That seems to be a big theme in this video. And here, let's take a look at what those look like on somebody so you can get an idea of the size. And these are $11.99. Also arrives before Christmas as of this recording. And this is a set of earrings that I thought were also cute. Again, moon and the stars, but you can't go wrong with the moon and the stars for a tarot gift. Um, these are $10.99, also arriving before Christmas. And let's look at some of the images just to see what they look like on. So this is the, just to get an idea of the size in somebody's hand. And those are the earrings. Looks like they're on a mannequin head but it gives you an idea of how big they are once they are worn. Now, if you want to go, once again, the handmade route, um, I actually made a necklace using the Queen of Cups card from the Silver Era Tarot deck. So let me just show you what that looks like. So right here back at the desk, this is a necklace that I made. And I used one of the cards from this, Silver Era Tarot. So if I pull it out, it's this card right here. This is our Queen of Cups. And here's the necklace. So I printed out a smaller version of this picture and I put it on this necklace backing. And then I put a layer of resin on top and I let that dry and then I put you see these flowers these are just dried flowers and on top of that resin layer I put the flowers and then I put another layer of resin and you can see the it, you can see it bevel a little bit there so that's the resin you can hear that can you hear that can you hear that it's really cool and I, I love how it came out so yeah, if you wanna go the DIY route, you can make your own tarot necklace. Next up, we have tarot journals. This one in particular has a leather cover and it's got hand stitching on it. You'll see the sun and the moon. Again, we're back to our sun and moon and stars design, um, but it's a great design. You can't go wrong with that. This one has 240 blank pages and the pages are meant to have a, an old vintage look to it. Um, let's take a look at some of these images here. Yeah, you see how the edges look all distressed and and worn out and that's a very cool look for a tarot journal and like I said all the pages are blank so your tarot reader is free to write whatever they like now some other options again here is a sun and moon design 
Um, it also says it's a leather cover. It's only $18.99, but it says it's leather. So I guess we'll just go with that. Um, there's a 7 by 5 inch, 8 by 6, and 10 by 7. This one's $18.99, arrives before Christmas. And this also has blank pages in there as well. Now, if blank pages scares you or scares the person you will be gifting this to, you can always go with a journal that has a template where you just kind of fill in the blanks. Now, this one is the 2023 Biddy Tarot Planner. I was actually gifted this planner a couple of years ago. So let me just show you what it looks like in real life. So here's the 2021 Biddy Tarot Planner and it's by Bridget Esselmont and she's known for having a set of tarot courses online and she also creates a planner every year. So I'll just show you the last month since I kind of dropped the ball on the last month. <laughs> so all of these entries for December are blank so I can just show you what these look like. So if you look at December, there's a card that's associated with each month. And for December of 2021, the card lovers, the lovers card was assigned to this month. And then there's a ritual that you can do. There is a crystal for that month and some astrological influences. And then over here, it tells you every time there's a new moon or a full moon and there's a tarot spread that you can do and it tells you what each position means. And then there's a box for you to write in your insights. And when you turn the page there, there is a spread for the full moon in Gemini. And again, a box for your insights. And then you have boxes for each day of the month where you pull a card of the day, you write down your intention for that day, and then any reflections that you may have. And you have that for every single day. And then back here, we have a winter solstice spread. And there's a, a spread for all the seasons. And this particular one is a six card spread. It explains what each position means. And again, a box to write down your insights. So, you know, it's, it's a fun little planner if you need some guidance, um, if you are afraid of the blank page and just need a template to work with, uh, the Biddy Planner is, is a fun option. And if Biddy Tarot isn't your thing, but you would still like some kind of a journal that has a template or lines that you can fill in, there's this tarot journal. Um, this one has gilded edges and it has some gold foil accents on the cover, which is really pretty. We can take a look at some of these images. So here's that edging that I was talking about. And then inside, you will actually see some information on how tarot works and a history of the cards, um, the process to go through. You'll see some samples of tarot spreads. And then later on, you'll see there are some blank spaces where you can write down the types of spreads that you've been using, the cards that you selected, and what your interpretations are. And at the bottom, there's a grid here where you can draw the spread that you created or used. There's also a coloring book option. So if we click on look inside, you can see that these are um, original illustrations from the author and slash illustrator. And in addition to the illustrations, there's also places where you can journal. Um, according to the description, it says it has a dot grid note page. Um, well, several pages where you can write your notes. There's tarot spreads, spells, um, and just ideas to get you started and continue on your practice. So this is another alternative to a journal. And there's also another coloring book. And this coloring book is by Teresa Reed, and Teresa Reed is a tower reader. She is also a yoga instructor, and she also has her own podcast, and it is called Tarot Bites, and I used to listen to this all the time, and every now and again, I still do, and it was a great little podcast because the idea is that she gives you little tarot tidbits in 
bite-sized chunks so the information isn't too overwhelming so some of the some of the podcasts are short and some of them are a little longer and she also sometimes does some really good interesting interviews with other tarot readers so it's definitely worth looking out for if you're interested in a podcast in the meantime she did create this coloring book and if we click on look inside you'll see that the forward was written by none other than Mary K. Greer. Let's see if we can find that forward. Here we go. Look at that. Mary K. Greer. And to me, there are two women who I call the godmothers of modern day tarot. And to me, that is Rachel Pollock and Mary K. Greer. And the fact that she was able to get Mary to write this forward is just an amazing achievement. So um, if we scroll further, you'll see there is information on how to use the book. There is information on, on ways to use tarot. And if you look at the pages, you'll see that there's, there's a description of each major arcana. And then the next page is a coloring page so you can go ahead and color so here we have the fool and here's a section on the magician and then you can color in the magician and here's the high priestess and it goes on and on so that's a fun little coloring book next up we have a books and this one is simply called tarot and I actually have this book so let's take a look at my desk so here is tarot and it says the library of esoterica and to me this makes a great coffee table book so if you want to give your favorite tarot reader a coffee table book that is about tarot this is a great option so let's take a look inside so let's take a look at some of these chapters so you have a brief history of tarot early decks and iconography there's some information on the major arcana a progression of a practice, artists, creators, and mystics, modern art inspired by tarot, the cards as a tool. I mean, there's so much juicy information in here. So, and it's so visual. I mean, look at this. I'm just going to like flip through a couple of pages just so that you can see what this is like. I mean, it is the perfect coffee table book. And they have all sorts of cards in here. I mean, you've got old cards, you have cards that came out in the 70s, 80s, 90s, um, you know, up until now. So there's a lot of beautiful cards to take a look at and learn about. Definitely a recommendation. Next, we have Kitchen Table Tarot. And this book, it's a lot of fun. It's very down to earth. Some might consider it a beginner's book, but I mean, it's still a fun read. It's a quick and easy to understand read. Um, so even if your tarot reader is not a beginner, it, it's still a fun book to have around. I also have this in real life, so let's take a look. So here is our Kitchen Table Tarot in Real Life by Melissa Sanova. And let's take a look at some of these chapters to give you an idea of what's in this book. So we have Getting Started, Care and Keeping of You and Your Tools the ethics of reading, the major arcana, the minors, the minor court cards, professional tarot reading, and my favorite, when readings go weird. So I'll just do a quick flip through so you can kind of get an idea of the format of the book. There's some images in here with an explanation of what the cards mean. And it's just, you know, the, the tone of the book is, like I said, it's a very down to earth. It's like you're chatting with a friend. It's a fun book to have in your library. Next up, we have 78 Degrees of Wisdom. We already talked about Mary Kay Greer, and now we've got Rachel Pollock. So this book is a staple. I think every tarot reader should have this book on their bookshelf. So if your reader doesn't, this is definitely a gift worth giving. The next book I want to show you is Holistic Tarot. Now this book is not for everyone, simply for its size. 
I want to show you this monster. Here is Holistic Tarot in all its glory. Look at this thing. Look how thick it is. But I tell you, it is chock full of so much information. And it's, it's great information. I mean, look at... I can't even go through all the chapter sections because there are so many of them. But I'll just kind of bring this up. So I'll bring this up to the camera so you can take a look at some sample chapter titles. I mean, it's, it's phenomenal. And Benabel Wen is a lawyer, so she is very thorough. She is very thorough in her research. She is very thorough in her explanations. Um, let me just give you a flip through so you can get an idea of what this looks like inside. I mean, there's spreads, there's diagrams, there's all sorts of visuals in here, tables. So it's, it's a fabulous reference to have. Um, I don't recommend that somebody read this from uh, cover to cover. It might just be something that you kind of go to a chapter for certain information and put it away for a little bit and come back to it. But it, it is an amazing reference and definitely a gift worth giving. And the last book that I want to show you is The Cloisters. And the only reason I know about this book is because Mary Kay Greer posted about it on Facebook. And I'm going to show you her post right now. She said that a friend of hers read it and said that it was a fabulous tarot crime mystery that takes place in New York's Cloisters Museum. And it involves a 15th century tarot deck and it's on the New York Times bestseller. And one of the reviews described it as a story of academic obsession, renaissance magic, and the ruthless pursuit of power. So if that doesn't sound intriguing, I mean, come on. And it's great because if you give this to your tarot reader friend or the tarot reader who reads for you, you know, you're not just throwing any old book, some random book that you think, oh, you know, man, maybe they'll like this. But there's a tarot theme involved. So it shows that you're thinking about them. I put this on my list and I'm looking forward to reading it. Another idea are blank tarot cards. Why on earth would you need this, you ask? Well, if your tarot reader is the artsy type, is crafty, likes to draw, and has talked to you about perhaps creating their own deck, this is a great way to start. Now, there are some who like to do their drawings digitally on a tablet. That's one way to go about it. But if they like to draw on materials that they can touch with their hands, this, this set of blank tarot cards is great. And it's got the backing of a standard tarot card. I mean, it looks like, it looks like the back of a Rider Waite Smith deck. So if you saw that, you wouldn't think it was a deck of playing cards. It actually looks like a tarot deck. So the card backs are already done and they can use, you know, Sharpies, alcohol markers, perhaps. I don't know for sure. I don't know what kind of medium you can use on this, but one thing that I did notice is that where it says frequently bought together, they did include Sharpies. So that could be an option. Um, you can maybe use pencil or paint. I'm not 100% sure on that. I wonder if it mentions any of that in the description or if people have asked, what can you draw with? But oh, look, here's some pictures. This one, someone drew the little mermaid as the fool. That's pretty cute. So this person used pencil for this. So you could probably use pencil, markers, all sorts of things. Um, yeah, this last image looks like they used marker. Um, they said they got a Sharpie chisel assorted eight pack. So you can probably use all sorts of different mediums to make your own deck. So that sounds like a really fun project if that's something that your tarot reader might be into. Next idea is the Tarot Game by Jude Alexander. And this is a game that 
I just recently heard of, but it's been out for a while, looks like uh, since 2010. And the thing about this game is that it's not competitive. It's meant to use in a more collaborative way where, you know, in the end you come up with a reading with the help of the other players. And it looks pretty interesting. I, I think there's a a YouTube video out there from Jude Alexander where she explains a little bit on how the game works. So if I can find that video, I will put it in the description below. Another option is this tarot backpack. So if you take a look at the design on the bag, you'll see the magician, the hierophant, and all sorts of other cards. You have strength, the moon, so this is a fun little backpack to have to give to your favorite tarot reader. Here's some other images of the bag. And you can see how much stuff can fit in there. And this one's $28.99. And then there's another option, um, same fabric, but as a tote bag. And you can select the size, medium or large. And they have different buying options so if you click here, I think you can see who you can buy it from. So it looks like this won't arrive until January, February. So maybe, maybe not the tote bag if you're trying to get this in time for the holidays. But I think the backpack is available. Yeah, this one arrives before Christmas. So that is an option. And if you want to go a little more plain and you don't want to have all those cards spread all over the fabric like that, there's this standard tote bag in black and it has the moon card on it and this one is for $19.99. And speaking of bags, this is a little pouch, I guess you can call it, and you can throw your tarot cards in there. And I just thought that was funny. All my tarot shit. That, that's just funny. So that's an option for $14.30. And here are some other images. So you can see what it looks like next to other things. It's a cute little zipper pouch. They all great for traveling so your cards don't get all dented up. Next we have a tarot calendar. This is Llewellyn's 2023 calendar. And let's click on some of these images to take a look. So what's great about this calendar is that it will show you a card from various decks. So your tarot reader can have something new and different to look at every month and maybe inspire them to buy a new deck based on the art that they see in a particular card. So if you look at the different pages, for example, this one for July, it has um, the page of wands. And then on the left, it kind of picks out a special symbol and describes it. It gives you a spread and it describes the spread and how to use it. And then you have your calendar on the next page. And all the pages are different. They don't all have the same thing. So if we look at this page, for example, we have the Queen of Wands. And yes, they also pick out a symbol and describe it. But now we have a section on astrology and unusual symbols. So the, there's a little something different on each page, but you will definitely get a, a unique card from a different deck in each month. So that's, that's a lot of fun to have. Next on our list, we have tarot wraps. So I'm going to be showing you things where you can keep your decks to, you know, save them from being damaged. So this one in particular is a velvet wrap. And what's fun about this is that if you usually just do three card spreads, if you look at some of these other images, you can use it as a tarot cloth and put your three cards down. So sort of like a little mini traveling tarot cloth. Let me scroll down a bit so you can see better. And it looks like it comes in red and in blue. And I think you do get both of them in your order. And this one is $9.99. It says it's the lowest it's been in 30 days. So check that one out. This one is a tarot case holder and it says it's in leather and this has our famous 
moon and stars on it. And it fits a standard Rider Waite Smith. So if we look at some of these other sample images, you will see that it will hold the Rider the Rider Tarot deck. This particular um, this particular deck, and it said it gives you the measurement. So it says it fits deck size with a box measuring 4.875 by 2.875 by 1.25. So if you happen to know the kind of deck that your that your tarot reader uses, then some of these cases might work out for you. And if there's someone who, if they have a ton of decks, then it's likely that one of them will fit in this box. But if their deck collection is limited then, and you don't know what size it is, maybe this is not the right way to go. Here's another one. And this one is a tin case and I love tin cases because these you can just throw in your bag and you don't have to worry about your cards getting dented or the box of the cards getting dented. Tins are fantastic. So let's look at some of these sample images. Again, this says that it's a perfect fit for the writer tarot deck. So if you know they have this deck or even better, they show pictures of various other decks that this works with. So you'll see that the tin works well with the Modern Witch, with the Smith Waite Centennial, the Morgan Greer, the Tattoo Tarot, and the list goes on and on. So if you know that they happen to have one of these decks, this tin will work just fine for them. Another option is a wooden box. So this can, you know, actually this can be used to hold their tarot deck or if they don't want to put their tarot deck in there, they can use it to, you know, store any other items that they may have, whether it's crystals or little bottles of essential oils or jewelry. I mean, you can use this box for pretty much anything, but, you know, you can give it with the intention of it being a tarot box. So this one has a Celtic design on it, but if you do a search, for tarot boxes, you'll see other options as well with other designs. Here's one with the triple moon goddess. Um, it's got the pentacle in the center with the moons on the side. So, you know, there's all, all sorts of these with different designs on them that, that you can look through. This is a tarot card display stand. And this is especially fun for those readers who like to do the card of the day, or if they do a three card spread and they kind of just want to keep it up for the day to kind of just think about it, meditate on it. It's a great way to display those cards. And there's different kinds. So this one, this one holds three cards and it has a place in the center to hold a tea light. And again, this is kind of like the triple moon goddess design. So there's a crescent moon on the side where if you wanted to put a crystal, you can do that. They put crystals on either side with the tea light in the middle. And let's look at some of these other images. You can see that it's eight by three. And this is somebody using it just with two cards. So that's a, that's a fun way to display your cards. And there's some options here. So this one, this is a small one that has the phases of the moon and it's just enough for a one card display. So again, if somebody does a card of the day, that's, that's one way that they can kind of show it off and leave it out. And this is the one that holds three cards. And this also has the phases of the moon. And this is the three card with the triple moon goddess. Oh, and this is an even bigger one where you can put not only the cards on display, but you can put the deck in that little section. And there's some little boxes where you can put crystals or whatever you like. So you have options here. Next is a throw blanket. Again, we've got our sun, we've got our stars, and maybe there's a moon in there. I don't know. But this is like a fun little decoration to throw on a chair, throw on a sofa, and it, it's got it's got the theme, right? So if you want to give it to your tarot reader, they'll know that you're thinking about them. And here's another blanket, but this one is more soft and cozy. The other one had a thicker fabric, but let me just show this to you in a better image. So here's the blanket on a bed, 
and here's the blanket on the floor and here's a blanket here is the blanket kind of all cozy up in the bed so you can get a, an idea of what it looks like when it's open so this one it says it's it's warm and lightweight and it's a soft flannel and this one's $16.99 and along the lines of home decor, we have pillows. So these pillows have the moon and the star. Let me just hover over them so you can get a closer look. These are pretty cute if they want to decorate their home with tarot cards. And these are 18 by 18 inches, and it does come with both. It is a set of two, so you will get the moon and the stars for $16.99. Now, what tarot lover gift guide would be complete without talking about actual tarot card decks? Okay, so let's get into it right now. So the first one I'm going to recommend is the Smithwaite Centennial. So there are a lot of versions of the Rider Waite Smith deck. And this one in particular I'm highlighting because this one obviously came out during the centennial and it's meant to be a reproduction of the original that came out in 1909. And the colors in here are supposed to be close to the colors that Pamela Coleman Smith picked out herself. And you'll see other decks from, you know, other Rider Waite Smith decks where the colors are really bright or just have primary colors or maybe have a neon. There's all sorts of different versions, but this one is meant to be a faithful reproduction of the original. So it's, it's a nice one to have in, in a collection if you don't already have it. The next deck that I want to show you is also a Rider Waite Smith clone. Um, but this one is cool looking simply because it's got a, a vintage feel to it. So if I just zoom in closer, you'll see that the outline of the card has a, a vignette look to it. So it's got, it's a little darker along the edges and the colors, the colors are, are, are darker, but also richer and the card backs are pretty cool looking. So this is one in particular that I wanted to highlight if your tarot reader is in fact a Rider Waite Smith fan. Next up I want to show you is a version of a Tarot de Marseille deck. Um, it's not meant to be a replica by any stretch, but it is a really cool version of a Marseille deck. The colors um, have a pastel look to them and the images are just so much softer than a regular Tarot de Marseille. Here's an example of the magician. And actually, let me go to another site just to show you a couple of other samples of this card deck. So over on tarotgarden.com, they have a little sample of what the Tarot de Maria Celia looks like. So if I, let's see if I can zoom in here. So these are the lovers. This is Temperance. It's just really cute. The moon, the Ace of Swords, the Five of Cups, and the Knight of Wands. I mean, come on, it's, it's adorable. So now I wanna show you some decks that came out pretty recently. This one came out in November of 2022, and it's called Zodiac Tarot. If we look at some of these images, you'll see that it has a, the major arcana cards and they're associated with different zodiac signs. You'll see all the, the symbols and there's some constellations in there. And there's the high priestess, the emperor, queen of wands. And the art is pretty cool. So again, these are these are decks that I, I have not seen until recently because they just came out on Amazon. And since, you know, we're trying to look for some fun and new ideas, I just wanted to throw some out there that have come out. This one came out uh, November 10th of 2022, the Fyodor Pavlov tarot cards. And in the description, it says that this pays tribute to the Smith Weight tarot deck and uh, it's painted in watercolor and ink and 
the the theme around this deck is that it says that it, it's it's familiar and timeless while also exploring new and diverse representations of gender, sexuality, and culture. So let's take a look at some of these cards just to get you familiar with the artwork in case you may have a tarot reader that you know whose style this is up their alley. The artwork is gorgeous. I love it. So definitely worth putting on the list based on the sample that I'm seeing right now. And here are the card backs. The next deck that I want to show you that came out in September of this year is the Lorenzi Tarot. And it says that this deck tells the story of our era, a time steeped in dualism between the ancestral realm and the modern world. So this is pretty interesting. It says that the deck aims to reconcile conflict with harmony, light and shadow, and doubt with hope. And this is just the cover, but I believe I saw the images somewhere else. Ah, yes. So US Games, if you go to usgamesinc.com, they have a sampling of some of the images of the Lorenzi Tarot. So if I click here, we have the moon. Nine of Swords, Ace of Wands, yeah, these are really pretty. The Hermit, Justice, yeah, so this is another art style. Um, if your tarot reader is interested and you know the kind of art they're into, this is another great alternative. Again, this is a, a new deck. See, it even says new on the U.S. Game System site that came out in... September. So now I'm going to stray off a little bit and go to Etsy. Again, some of these not may not arrive in time for the holidays, but I thought they were worth mentioning anyway because they're really cool decks. This one is called Pixie's Whisper Tarot, and this one is $59. And what's so cool about this, again, if your reader is a Rider Waite Smith fan, is a fan of Pamela Coleman Smith's artwork, this is a really cool alternative. Um, this one takes images from Pixie's deck, but incorporates them into other scenes. So if you look at this Hierophant, for example, the Hierophant himself is the same, and the two people below are the same. These keys, I believe, are also the same because they look very familiar, but they're just huge. And then you have them behind this red curtain so it's just really cool how they've taken the imagery and just put it in different situations or in different scenes um this fool this is the fool from pixie's deck and this is the dog but now there's this giant jester hat which is it's just really cool so let's take a look at some of these other images and the colors are great the colors, I mean, they just make you feel happy. And there is a pouch that's available to put them in. It's just a really, really fun take on the Rider Waite Smith deck. Okay, next up on Etsy, we have the Painted Tarot. So if your tarot reader is an artist or loves to draw, which I guess can still make them an artist, right? It doesn't have to be good. They just have to draw and love to draw. <laughs> if your tarot reader loves art, this is a cool deck that I saw out there. And, you know, because my channel involves tarot and art and crafts, I couldn't go on without mentioning this deck. And I'm going to show you a couple of samples. I love the card backs because the card backs just look like a typical artist's floor that's just a big mess with paints. But look at these images. They're so cool. So if somebody, you know, is a fan of painting, this is a really cute deck to have around. Okay, let's see what's next on Etsy. This is the next generation tarot by the same artist. Um, but it looks like it's a set of 10 extra cards that you can get. Um, and they are more like 
oracle cards, I guess you can say, because the titles aren't related to tarot. So I would consider this, you know, uh, an expansion deck of oracle cards. So you'll see this one is called Golden Child. This one is the Faded Child. Truth Teller. And there's just all sorts of different characters here, which would work really nicely with the painted tarot deck. So my friends, that is my 2022 holiday guide. If you're looking to buy a couple of fun things for your favorite tarot reader. So I hope you enjoyed this list. And if you have other things that you've seen online that are worth sharing, please put them in the comments below. If you found this list useful and you're actually going to get something or maybe it inspires you to get a different kind of gift, give me a like. Give me a like. And if you want to subscribe, even better. Hope you guys have an awesome holiday and see you in the next one.